do a great job of not getting complacent out there or not thinking the ball's not going to come to us. We just got to be ready and prepared every play. I mean, you get tested. I mean, when you're, you know you're going to have a test in a game like this, does that kind of make you get up for it a little bit more? I mean, when you know you have two guys this caliber, you have to go against every play. So. Oh, for sure. I mean, this is definitely one of those games you get excited as a corner because you know you're going to get tested. You know there's going to be like you know, deep balls, there's going to be some fades. You want to get your targets for sure. You're going to have your opportunities to um, impact the game, and that's something I like to do. Burberry's their wide receiver. What stands out about him, Eli, as you, as you kind of – I know you've probably seen him a little bit, even if you haven't watched a lot of video yet, that you've seen him through the year. Seems to be their go-to guy. I think he's already got 1,000 yards receiving, close to that. What just stands out about him in your mind? Um, Number 16, he's very good off the line. That's the main thing about him. Uh, a lot of teams try to press him, and he's pretty good at using his hands off the line. He's a physical receiver, even though um, he doesn't really have the best size. But he's physical off the line. He's very good in traffic. Um, when the ball's in the air, and um, you know, that's basically his um, you know strengths. On a third down play, though, when you see a guy, I mean, he seems to be their guy of choice when they need a catch. You know, I mean, like Ever Darius was at Wisconsin a few years ago and stuff. What does that tell you as a corner? Do you need to just tighten even more if you're man to man with him, or just you know when you know he's their go-to guy? Um, you just gotta you know watch things on film. You know, third down is always a big play for us, and um, we take pride in third down. So you just gotta watch a little tendencies and. Uh, where his split is, where he is, um, how far he is from like the numbers, little things like that you just got to look for because um, that's going to dictate what type of release he's going to give you, what type of route he runs. Eli, obviously you guys go into that nickel look sometimes on third down if it's third and longer. How comfortable is the defense overall when Damon comes in and you guys give that look? Uh, we're very comfortable with Damon. Damon's a guy, uh, since day one he's been here, um, he's always had great coverage. He's always had great technique, and um, he's somebody that's um, – just, we're very confident in the man coverage, and we know anytime he's out there, he's going to uh, play well for us, for sure. And for, for defense to be really good these days, right? I mean, you need more than two good corners, right? Because you're going to have those situations when there's multiple receivers, and you've got to have more than just you and Gary on. You have to have other cover guys who can match up, don't you? Right, of course. Um, And that's why we've always made an emphasis of just trying to get Dame ready, because um, I mean, Having depth in the secondary is definitely um, very important to your defense, uh, especially pass defense as well. So uh, I think the future is very bright, you know, as far as corners here. You got Marshawn, you got Dame, you got other guys who could really cover well. And uh, you guys probably haven't really seen that too much, but I know just from practice and seeing them every day, they are gonna be, they're going to be very good for What's sure. What's different about this defense now than like seven or eight weeks ago from a confidence standpoint? What do you feel out there as a member of it that, you know, you may be – has some misgivings about, you know, seven or eight, nine weeks ago that you feel like y'all, because Irv Meyer says y'all seem to be improving every week. So does Chris. I mean, what do you see that's definitely gotten better about this defense? Just our communication on the field, our confidence with each other. Uh, we really feed off each other's energy. And um, it's just experience, just going through games and learning and stuff like that and watching each other on film. We always uh, – very critical of our performances and we always like to critique ourselves very closely. So that's just something we've always been doing week by week and trying to get better. You Eli, guys as a group seem oh, go ahead. Michigan State is top fifteen nationally when it comes to throwing the fewest interceptions. What is it about them that they take care of the ball so well when it comes to the passing game? Um you could just you could just um it's probably just their receivers. Their receivers are very uh, tough when the ball's in the air. Uh, you can attribute that to just uh, number 16, number 85, number 82, guys like that. When the ball's in the air, they really attack it. And, um, you know, the quarterback's going to throw it up there, and he knows his guy's going to try to go up and do the best he can to get it. So they've um, definitely done a great job of doing that. And our main thing is to win that 50-50 ball. When the ball's in the air, it has to be ours, and that's going to be very important for the game. You know, before a game, when you hear that the opposing quarterback had, a, had to miss the whole second half last week because of a right shoulder, dang, surgery, I'm in surgery, injury. Connor Cook, do you pregame? Do you watch a guy? Do you try to get a sneak on the guy and see if he's throwing the ball well? I mean, do you, you know what I mean? Do you, or do you just leave it up to whatever comes? Uh, you know, those first several plays to see what he's all about. Nah, we're not checking anybody out before yeah. the games or anything. Uh, we just focus on what we're doing technique-wise. I know we have like guys, coaches who watch stuff like that, and they're gonna let us know. But um, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be playing in the game for but sure. I watch the film. He's he's gonna be playing. Yeah. I'm not even worried about that. Yeah. Eli, last year you guys had success against Michigan State by basically having Duran follow Tony Lippett around the field. Mm -hmm. um, what what has to happen for you guys to employ that strategy? What does a receiver have to be for you guys to decide to do that? Um, you know, I don't really know. It's just it's one of those things, especially last year, I don't know, Duran really wanted to be that guy to step up and um and plus I was having a little um, you know, injury problems as well, so he didn't really know 
uh, if I was going to be able to play. And, um, you know, being Gary on his first start, he was just like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be that guy to follow uh, Lippin and take that challenge, you know, head on. So it was more that type of thing because as the, um, as the year went on, we played Alabama. He didn't follow Lamar or anything. We just played straight up. So um, it was one of those type of things. It was just, you know, injuries relating to me and stuff like that. Eli, how, are you, how do you handle hype and how have you gotten better at it over the couple, three years? Hype? I mean, you just don't really buy into it because, uh, I mean, any day somebody can get the best of you or anything like that. Um, you can't really read too many of the reports or feed into that because once you get your head big, that's not a good thing. It's all about the team. You just got to focus on that. How about the, the, all the build-up to this game? That uh, the build-up? Oh, man. Yeah, it's just – it's going to be – yeah, it's going to be a lot of talking out there. It was like that last year. They love to talk, and um, we love to respond back to people when they talk, for sure. So um, our thing is we're going to have to just play our game, uh, just be very, very calm out there and just locked in into our assignments and what we have to do. We can't let all the outside stuff get to our heads and, you know, try to get too fired up because once you get too fired up, you start playing out of character, and we can't do that. Will this is a couple watching, more questions. Will you, will you be watching national – stuff this week or local what people are saying about the games about me you whatever of course i mean i watch espn all the time i don't have like any shows on netflix that i watch or anything espn's the main thing i watch so <laughs> i'll probably be listening to anything that's going on how excited are you that's to question. finally have a game like this i mean everyone has looked at this game all year and you, the previous 10 have been almost games you have to get through to get to this one how, how excited are you guys for this uh, i mean every game is in um a challenge for sure. Every game we're excited for. Anytime we get a chance to go out here and um, play in front of our great crowd or any crowd, really, we take uh, full advantage of that. So, I mean, with this game being the last home game, uh, especially for the seniors and stuff, we really want to set the scene, um, let the seniors out on a good note for sure. So, um, this is probably going to be one of the biggest games um, for sure for us, and uh, we know that.